I wish my life had been a carnival of drinking ale and pissing. It could have been, I'm sure. No, we have not reached such a point. I used the order to live a life of ale drinking, but the price of my ale was murder. Sad, really. Watch my leg. Coward! 
Sugarman! Ours. That wasn't so hard, was it, Stowe? Even one man's death is too many. Now I'll see about destroying full case supplies. Is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him, too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. Ha! <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit. Us. Thank Odin for that. I'm sick of skulking. Stop and die! Now, where's the big man? on my watch. We keep our wits in ours. Oh, oh, not for that. No. Oh, not much longer. Damn you! 
Soviets. Press hard! <laughs> The brush, shove you? What have you discovered? Bridgeworth swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan. What?
one down, one to go. The other should be somewhere in the keep. On my way. Now the boats. We burn them to the waterline. I am with you. Oma, what is happening here? Bandits, taking advantage of the disorder in Suffolk to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. Fulke will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. We burn them from afar. Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. Archers, take your positions! Stand ready, Eivor. When they see us, they will charge. We must defend the men! Protect 
the archers! They will not get past me! Dances with hearth tongues. Soon it will be ashes. Archers, lower your bows and return to camp. I should return to our camp. Elderman Hunwald, you honor your father by answering my call. Swanborough sends her regards. My lady love, let her name be my flame of hope, for I confess the thought of this battle turns my guts to water. Ah, fighting is easy. Just look your opponent in the eyes, and then put an axe between them. Yes, I remember. Well, I have brought the best archers in Lincolnshire to lend their bows to your cause. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Hunwald. Be ready. And so violence begets violence. An eye for an eye, as the good book says. 
But soon we will all be blind. Not quite. Whoever makes the last strike should still have one eye left. In the street of the blind, the one-eyed man is called the Guiding Light. Does that holy tome of yours have a quote for everything? Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. I cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I will ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. Birsten, I'm glad to see you again. How is your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elleridge? He has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope, when hope is all we have. I'm sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I will make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? So, my Jarlskona, you seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lofbrook. It may be that one day our paths lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deola. Strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, Deolav. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you're welcome here, friend. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Porchester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin.